Good morning. Right, back out in the fields again this morning. Um, Les and I are out and uh, the weather has actually improved a hell of a lot. Uh, when we arrived here, as soon as we arrived here, it started uh, pouring down the rain. The heavens totally open. So uh, while I was waiting, we thought we'd drive around a couple of our other farms. The only reason we come back to this one today is because Les found his little hot spot and he wanted to try that out. So uh, I've come out on a totally different field, an unknown field to me. Uh, never been on it before. So um, I just got to the far side of that and uh, so far not impressed. But um, Les has just radioed through to me and told me he's now arrived at his little hotspot. So uh, wait and see if he's found anything uh, anything better than uh, the three buttons apparently he's found so far. So anyway, I will see you on the next hole. Morning all. Back on the field that I was on last time where I found that uh, crotal bell, wasn't it? Uh, just on the way, walk up to that part. It's quite a walk. But uh, yeah, first signal, button. As you probably guessed. There we go, first target. Right, we're out on um, fields again today. And uh, just I got my first signal, which is obviously going to be a button, it always is. I'm out with Les today uh, using the Equinox 800. Uh, because last time when we came over here, we lost Les. Today we brought out our walkie talkies, so should be able to contact him no matter where he is. But anyway, First signal, button. Alright, well this was a lovely 13 signal. It's a little bit battered, but it is quite old. It's a pin fire shotgun end. If you can see that, it's a little pin fire. It's what the hammer hits at the top there. I think they're early 1800s, I think. If I remember right. And I found a couple out on the foreshore. But first one I found on the, on the land. Yeah, good little find for me. I like that. Uh, I've just found the baby version of what Les found the other day. Uh, this one's clearly a watch winder. The one Les found was a much, much bigger than this, so we put it down as a clock winder. But yeah, that's my next find. Watch winder. Alright, well this signal uh, ended up on a 20 actually. It was a signal and then it went for the worst signal ever. Uh, and then ended up as a pretty good signal, but it's... Uh, bit of decoration off of something in the shape of a flower I don't know, not even sure what it's made of it doesn't feel heavy enough for lead but uh, yeah, don't know interesting anyway let's see if there's any more bits and pieces in this hole because it's quite deep uh, and had lots of different signals coming out so well, we just walked a mile or so to catch up with Les to see how he's getting on. How are you getting on, Les? Pretty crap. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a mod noisy. This is a modern field, mate. There's nothing old on here. No. You can always tell. Yeah, but, uh, well. This is where all those is up there though. This is really noisy here. So is that there one of ours? Uh no. This is top bit. There's that that's that um public walk park there and it goes down to that marker over there. Alright. And there's a bridge into that field there, but that's not uh that's Okay. It's just this little bit here. So that though. I would say that is a bit of horse furniture. It could be a, no, probably a Victorian off a chest of drawers or something. Oh handle. yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. He's got the solid bit in the middle for decoration for something, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All I've had is one button, one coin, and a little watch winder. Oh, a little watch winder? Yeah, I've just had that over there. This is dark. But I'm walking around, I bet you've got your horseshoe on, haven't you? Yeah, because when you walk around without it on, mate, it's silent all the way up. You know it's a modern field. Yeah. You're wasting our time on here. You reckon? Yep, absolutely, 100%. You're not going to find anything other than modern. 
you get the occasional toasted milled coin you'll get for little things like watch winders thimbles yeah so that's what you're going to find on here you're not going to find anything you're not, you're not looking hammered you're not looking roman celtic anything like that you're just looking modern and it's a waste of a day if you confine yourself to modern because uh, what you do find you don't find much of it it's just a tedious day of walking around in silence yeah, it must have yeah it is at the moment <laughs> yeah i've been on hundreds of fields like this and I, you just get the feeling for them there's no evidence of occupation you just get modern day tudor type bits of brick yeah, you know, here, there must have been a building or something here. Just well, yeah, look, you've got bits of broken brick here, look. A bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Another bit there, look. Another bit there. It's a demolished old Tudor building. Yeah. Loads of it around, look, if you look. It's bits of old crushed up brick. It's everywhere. Yeah. What do you want to do? Don't know. I don't know where the best place is on this. I'm getting, I'm literally that field there is better than this one and that one is terrible. You can't, that, that's not ours. That one is. Top, top bit isn't, the bottom bit is. Well, where you walk through that isn't his? That isn't his. No, well, yeah. Not according to the, yeah. Yeah, well no, the bottom, even the bottom bit of it is better than this. This is absolutely terrible. Down the bottom I was getting um, loads of lead, loads of tiny little bits of lead, it took ages to find. And then when I went, because this field goes up the other side as well. Probably that path probably goes through to it. And when you get through to the other side, I found a really good hot spot of um, anti-aircraft fucking shrapnel. <laughs> but other than that, and there's a road that runs down the far side. Yeah, I fear there's um, someone working over that one. Yeah, so I went down to the very bottom, walked on the bottom, came off, I spoke to you on the radio, I said I'll come up. And as I've come up, it took about 10, 15 steps, high pitch signal. Toasted milled coin. So, yeah, this this is a waste, a waste of a day. Yeah, I'm. I mean, yeah, it's up to you. You want to stay on this, stay on this. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go back over to the field entrance where the cars parked. So I'll just work that field. It's better than this one. Yeah. This is a chance over there. You might find something. Oh, this one. Uh, this one's terrible. It's a silent. It's all right if you've got your oil shoe on, all you hear is constant, but when you ain't got it on, all you hear is silence with the occasional little chirp. Yeah. And I've just walked all the way from the bottom, all the way up to here, and I've dug two holes. One was a tiny bit of lead, one was a watch winder. And that's it, the rest of it's all silent all the way up. Just terrible. Yeah, I mean, I probably, have you been up over that far side? Yeah, I did go across. The was target was getting uh, buttons. I had a um, what else did I have over there? Something else I had over that way. Yeah, well, I'm going to carry on up to the top, go across, work my way down the far side of the field, all the way back down to the bottom. Now I'm going to take a walk up the car, have a cup of tea, then I'm going to sit on that other field for the day. So that's that's my plan of action. No, you should start, but you did all right up here the other day. Well, I did, yeah. I mean, uh, most of it was close in. The house is probably on that little field there. And yeah. as it's been demolished, it's just scattered onto this field. Yeah. And to find a crotal bell, that's evidence that there's some kind of property around because obviously they were on sheep and cows and that, the crotal bells. So it's probably evidence that this area was used for grazing cattle or sheep, which means you ain't going to find a lot on it. Mm. <laughs> Unless you get near to where the house used to be, then you'll find bits yeah. from the house. Which is probably why you're finding it in this side and as you move away you're not finding anything. The house would have been over here somewhere. Yeah, probably right, let's keep going. Right, I thought I'd stop off and have my usual um, tea break. Uh, it's very hard going today because we've had quite a bit of rain over this morning and over last night. and. Uh, Obviously you get a build up of mud on your shoes, on your boots and just drains you, dragging all that weight, extra weight around on your coil and whatever. But the session for me in particular, well, I don't know about me in particular, but it's been really poor. I just had one button, one coin and one watch winder in possibly three hours detecting. Les has had a lot of buttons and I don't think he's had much of anything else, so it's... Uh, 
as I said, these fields today are all an unknown quantity because we haven't been on them. But the field I'm going to go on next is uh, the first one I was on in the last session. I had a couple of little bits and pieces of it, nothing much. But unfortunately, the farm we're at now, it's too late really to leave it. Uh, there are better farms we could be doing. But um, we thought this morning, because Les got his crota button up where he is at the moment, he's probably a good half a mile away from me at the moment on the field. That's why we couldn't see him last time. Uh, he's searching the same area where he had all his buttons and his crota button out last time we were out. So uh, I went up there. Um, I radioed him from where I found my coin and I uh, said I'm on my way up. I was on the same field as he was and he was so far up the field it took me another hour to actually get to him. So uh, it shows you the size of the field he's on. The field I'm on is probably an eighth of the size of that one. So uh, anyway, I'm going to finish my tea and get back to it. Well, I am actually pleased to see this little fella. I never thought I'd actually say that. Pleased to see a button. It's the first thing I've had since that watch winder. And that must have been two hours ago. I've just dug half a ton of lead. All the signals I'm getting are all 11s and 12s. And they are always lead. I've had a couple of like 17, 18, also lead. But yeah, it's a very simple, basic, broken button. But I'm actually pleased to see it. All right, well, a really loud 20 signal. That's the reason why, ring shaped. It looks like a bit of horse harness or something like that. Absolute cracking signal. Yeah, another one of those. Well, at last now, I'm finding stuff other than lead. All right, it's only another button, but it does really make a, lot, a change from finding lead. So. There we go, button number three. Well, at last, a coin. <laughs> uh, can see a bit of a bust on there, can't quite work it out though. It coming up as a, a 28.30. No, mm, uh, can't really make that out. Give it a little wipe. Yeah, we'll be able to make that out. I can actually see some writing around the edge. I don't recognise that that bust. Or well, what's on the back there, actually. Oh, no, it's Britannia. It's upside down. So, yeah, the date will be there. Hopefully, we'll be able to see that. If I can see it, I'll uh, let you know. Uh, the next one, very, very, very possibly my last, is a kind of popper button type thing. Just another piece of junk. Now earlier I found the top of a thimble and I think I've just found the other bit of it. <laughs> it's around this area funny enough as well. But yeah the tops unless that's squashed in, but I think that's missing. Oh uh, yeah, I might have found the bottom to the thimble. There you go. Another button. I'm on my way back to the car now it should take me about 20 minutes half an hour to get back to the car and then I'm calling it a day. But that's button number four. Button four is closely followed by button five. Well, that is a lovely 16 signal, and it is a fragment of a crotal bell. A lovely signal. It's a really nice detail on that. Shame as uh, not the rest of it. Might have a little look around the area in a big circle, see if I can uh, pick the rest of it up. You never know. There we go, we now have button six, but button six is a little bit better than the other buttons. This one's got an anchor on it. I don't know where we can see that. Here's from there, it appears to have an anchor on it. So it's a, obviously a naval button of some kind. I'm not sure that, I'm not 100% that's an anchor, but I'd say it is. It looks like the anchor with a chain wrapped around it. I've had these before. But that's the next button. Right, well that's it, I've packed up. Uh, Les is still out, he's actually wandered off. I can't see him again now. He was on this field. Oh, it's okay, I'm not going to see him. He's on another field, he's uh, gone over to another field next door. Uh, I've packed up, I just got fed up in the end. Had a little run of buttons at the end, as you just saw. But other than that, it's just scrapping this field. You're just digging 
all day you're just digging up scrap and I am absolutely worn out. Uh, we're already about 40 minutes later than we normally would finish but um, because we started late because of the rain we thought we'd run it on a little bit extra today but unfortunately the results weren't brilliant. But um, yeah I've been doing a um, my little secret beach at night. Well I've done it once and I'm going to do it a second time just to completely cover it and that'll be a midweek video coming up in the next uh, few days. Um, uh, Les and I are, well Les, Brian and I, sorry, are coming out again on Tuesday, the bearing in mind today's Thursday. We're coming out to do another farm on Tuesday and Les and I also want to get out and do a little bit on the foreshore. So um, there are all the plans for the next week or so. So um, we'll see you on my limb. So until then, Bye-bye for now.